What's up, everybody? My name is Dash. This is my YouTube channel, Dallas Flippin. And today is Thursday, February the 24th of 2022, and this is my haul video. So, if you don't know, I'm based in Dallas, Texas, and we're having a terrible ice storm right now where, like, the roads are really slick and you can't really go anywhere. But luckily for me, I live a few minutes from the local thrift store, and no one else can go out and shop. So, I bought the whole store yet again. So, let's see what we got today, huh? Sorry, my nose is running because it's so cold. So the first thing here I will I'm gonna show you, I paid 80 cents for, and uh, I was a little boy in the 1990s, and um, I loved Power Rangers. So these are party flags, like a pendant you would put up at your birthday party, which says Saban 1994, so I would have been three years old. Um, it's made in China, in Spanish, in in China. But it's Party Express. It has the original price tag of 70 cents. It's like a Kmart sticker, maybe. But it's got, you know, the black Power Ranger, the red Power Ranger, the blue Power Ranger. Uh, I scanned the UPC code with the eBay app on the back. They're selling for about 30 bucks. So, yeah. Nostalgia is big. 90s stuff is big. Power Ranger stuff is also big. Now, this was a little um, underhanded, but um, I got this because there's something in here, but then I found this, which is a Game Boy Advance SP carrying case. It didn't have a price on it, uh, but it was a nice little case. You stick your Game Boy in, and I just kind of opened the bag and put it in there, because they won't sell anything without a price. But they're not supposed to sell bags that don't have, um, that are opened, but, you know, whatever. I don't know how much it is, I just wanted it, because I love Nintendo, and I love Game Boy. But uh, 80 cents for this entire bag, we have a pineapple that moves. And it moved at one point. Oh, it's trying. I don't know, it's probably gonna go in the trash. Star Wars Chewbacca toy. It still lights up. So, most of the stuff I usually put in like a garage sale, like giant toy pile and sell like the entire box for 20, 30 bucks. This one is still new in the package. It's Space Jam, Porky, no, is it, it's Elmer Fudd. And then I got a Daffy Duck Space Jam toy here. And this is the reason why I got this. Um, it's Stitch, and Dawn has really been um, into the Stitch toys, so it's a new box Stitch toy. So Dawn, if you're watching this, um, surprise. If not, well, she doesn't know. Now this was cool. I paid $1.21 for this. It says award-winning, does it still work? So it needs batteries. My mark, mark my time, 3D portable bookmark. Um, I guess it tracks how long you read. It's a digital clock with a countdown timer, alarm, cumulative timer that stores up to 100 hours, 60 second fluidity timer, and a replaceable battery. Uh, it's got dinosaurs on it, and it's a 3D hologram thing. So like, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it was dollar twenty one, and there's only one other one, but it was like a wolf or a dog. It was like $10 plus shipping. It's very light. It'll go first class. So, yeah, for $4, basically, including shipping, I make 10 15 bucks. Why not? Why not? Um, I guess this fell out of that bag. It's a squishy football. It's going in the trash. <clears throat> now, this is something um, I didn't expect to be as valuable as it was. Um, did I mess it up? No. It's a Minecraft pickaxe. Um, I never was into Minecraft because I was too old, but I started playing it a couple years ago. It's actually pretty fun, well, especially when you're playing with friends. Uh, playing it by yourself, you're probably a no-lifer or you're a child. But um, this is the alternate colored pickaxe, and it was $1.21. But if you pull it out here, it becomes a sword, so it's multi-purpose. Uh, and pre-owned, these sell for about $40. So it was a 2014... Mattel, and it's a pickaxe, you, you mine with it, and then when you want it to be a sword, you pull it out and it's a sword, so double purpose, super cool, and you know, I paid, what, $1.21 for it, so fraction in $8 shipping, say I'm into $2, I make 30 bucks, like that's, that's not a really bad profit, actually, so let's see, I got another bad, oh no, so I got some more tapes. Now this one was interesting. This was 80 cents too. Almost everything I got today was under $2. Um, this is the one I scanned first in the bag. It says the gold experience. It has some kind of weird 
um, Egyptian looking symbol on it. Um, never heard of them. Don't really care, but it looks like it's in good condition. One tape by themselves is selling for about $40 for a cassette tape. So either they're rare or, yeah. This is R. Kelly. Um, I'm not gonna make any jokes about that. If you know about R. Kelly. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't didn't didn't have a UPC code, so I didn't scan it. But it was in the bag, so even if it's not worth anything, I made money on the other ones or other one. These probably aren't worth anything. Yeah, I, they just look like something somebody recorded because it was a thing you could record tape. So I got one more thing I can set tape, so I'll get into something really cool. Another 80 cent buy, and there's four in here. This is Tupac. That's what it says on it, anyways. How Hunters Hancock. I don't know. Someone wrote Bob Marley on there, but everything else is labeled. Now, this one, I didn't find any cassette tapes, but there was a CD for $14. So it's Russ Freeman and the Rippingtons. Sahara. I don't know nothing about nothing. Um, 1994. GPR, PRP records. <clears throat> Don't know nothing. So I, I mean, I imagine I can get fourteen to twenty dollars out of it, but bearing that there are no other ones available. So now I got some toys to show you. And I paid a little bit, what I would call too much for this. It's a bag of Legos. It was nine dollars and ninety cents. There's a reason why I got this. So let's open it up and see. Um, I looked through most of the bags, and I always look for minifigures. Um, because sometimes minifigures can bring quite a bit of money. Um, I didn't see any minifigures in there other than this is Zoo, but that's not even a Lego. Um, we got a piece of a Bionicle, we got a little tank. It's a technical, like a Bionicle arm, shooter arm looking thing. Buzz Lightyear looking stuff. But this right here is the reason why I bought the bag for $10 almost. It's a camel. So I looked up Lego camel figure. Well, brown camels were $39.98. That's a $40 camel. That definitely pays for the bag. And then if I sell Lego by the pound, usually what I do is I'll buy like lots at garage sales or at thrift stores and then lock them up and then sell them in like massive bulk. And it makes quite a bit, good bit of profit. It's like a helicopter blade. I don't really want to dig through all of this because it's gonna make a big mess all over the floor and I'm gonna have to put it in a bag. I should just do that right now. Hold on. All right, Movie Magic has saved the day. Um, I put everything into a little bag. What is that? Is that a booger? I don't know what's going on here. Um, I did find a Mega Block lurking in the Legos, which, if you know anything about Legos or like Legos, I think Mega Blocks are inferior. They have some really cool lines in the, like the early 2000s with the dragons. That's the only reason why I like Mega Blocks. Part of a droid from Star Wars. Totally incomplete. A helmet, some legs. Mostly it's just, oh, is it a pizza? It's a one of spicy pizza. Um, I don't know if it's a Playmobil. A little, I don't know. Basically, it's a bag of junk with a walkie talkie in there. It just, it's all, it literally mix and match with the solution of this, which I'm throwing out away. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, well, I thought that was all the cassette tapes. Let's see. I was wrong. Another 80 cent buy. Uh, this is why I got it. James Brown live at the Apollo Theater, 1995. Um, that should be 10, 12 bucks. And this is Mo Jazz with Wayman Tisdale. So I don't know nothing about that, but as long as it's $10 or more, uh, it's good. That's another mixtape, so it's going in the trash. Uh, Legos down, toy bag. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's in here. Oh, all right. So this one's already good. It's a Powerpuff Girl. Uh, it's Buttercup. She's got stains. I think she's from McDonald's. She is not. So she's an actual uh, Buttercup Spin Master thing from like 2017-ish, 2016-ish. Doesn't say it's made in Luxembourg. 2016 Cartoon Network, yeah. So that's good. Um, she'll probably go for six bucks by herself. Clean her up a little bit. Uh, some doll clothes. Uh, an Elsa sock. I don't know what that is. Um, are these Shopkins? There was a reason why I bought this bag. Are this Little's Pet Shop? 
don't know. Maybe Lilith's Pet Shop, maybe there's Shopkins. Maybe that's what that is, it's for bed. Let's, let's see, there's gotta be a reason why I bought this bag. Okay, there's a Captain America shield, it's very loved. Hasbro, Europe. Don't know. Some little, looks like Belle, Princess Dolly. My Little Pony. I don't know what that goes to. A dinosaur? Nerf dart. Cute little wooden throne. Why did I buy this bag? There's a Lego in there. It's his horse needs Jesus. Look at that. That thing is messed up. Look at that. Okay. A Barbie shoe is a. I didn't buy it because it's not even Hot Wheels. That's cool. It's one of those cars that flips. Someone hot glued the heck out. Oh, this is why I bought the bag. Two Minecraft things. There's a Minecraft block and a Minecraft cow. I've done really, really good with little mini Minecraft figures like this. I bought a bag of one uh, one time last year, and I think it was like three dollars for the bag, and it had like 20, 30 Minecraft figures. I sold them for at least six dollars each, some for more. So uh, Minecraft was at Mojang 2013. So got a Minecraft cow and some kind of uh, I don't think it's a bedrock block. It's some kind of block. Most of this stuff looks like it's crap. Um, uh, it's a Lego, I'm gonna keep that. That's a hair clip. Ooh. Looks like it might be Darth Vader or something like that without his helmet, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and move on because there's just like a fruit roll-up wrapper in there. Oh, it's more Legos, cool. It's a little, little car. The things you find. There was a bunch of Legos, I wanted to buy them. Some of them had a like Lord of the Rings in there, but they were missing like the uh, the parts to them. Like they weren't all complete. Like well, it was Gollum from Lord of the Rings didn't have any arms. So I went ahead and passed on that. So I got another bag of toys, the last thing we got today. And this, this is, I'll show you right now. This is the reason why I bought this. It's a USPS truck. It's a little toy. Um, it says 2007 official licensed product, the United States Postal Service, all rights reserved. Made in China by Tensu Yip. Um, I like it because... Oh, is the back open? It does! How cool is that? It's a little model car. The mirror on one... Oh, no, it's not broken. It's just different than the other one. It, it, it's very functional, you know. It's, uh, it's right-hand drive, like most of the post trucks are. That's really cool. I like it because being a reseller... If it wasn't for the post office, I wouldn't get my packages out. So I have to say thank you to the people who are postmen, postwomen, post people that work at the post office. Thank you for going to work every day and doing your job because that's how I get paid. So yeah, I might keep it. I might sell it if it's worth anything. I will sell it. If not, well, I'm going to display it at my little shipping station, which you can't see right here, which I think is pretty cool. We got um, 2014 Madden Tennessee Titans little figure. He may be worth money. He may not be worth money. Um... So if he is, oh, look, another one. Miami Dolphins, Madden 14, McDonald's figure. Um, we got a, a clip here. That's kind of strong. I'm not sure what I'll use that for. Hot Wheels, Hot Rod, that's really cool. Hot Rod shop. You can put Hot Rods in there. That might be worth five or 10 bucks by itself. It's a trailer. Um, 2013 Mattel, it would be better if I had the truck to win with it. We got a Batman, the Brave and the Bold, 2013. Is Burger King or McDonald's? McDonald's. Probably not worth anything. Now this is an Encanto toy from McDonald's in the pack. Don't know nothing about it. Looks like a capybara and some things. So it's in the pack, but it's probably not worth anything. Here's a Transformer from McDonald's. Looks like Prowl. Twenty eighteen McDonald's. He's not worth anything. He's just it's just trash throwaway figure. Uh, this is cool. Uh, I have a little kid that likes Paw Patrol. Well, I still have a little kid that likes Paw Patrol, but I had a little girl who really liked Paw Patrol. It's um, what do you call them? They're, they're squirt toys. It's Chase. He's like this is like superhero Chase. These are actually worth like four or five bucks if you buy them brand new at Walmart. So I might try to see look that up and you can put it in the bathtub and you play with it or the pool. We like to play with them in the pool. Um. And then look, more Paw Patrol stuff. This is the first gen Sky uh, Copter. 
and it's, you put the little dog in it and it flies around. This one's cool because it has the wings. Make it like a helicopter airplane thing. And it doesn't, the thing I hate about these toys, they have a model number, which this one is 16601, but they don't have a date. So I would say 2015 to 2018. I know, because in 2018, my little girl would like Paw Patrol, so. Yeah, helps when you know the market. That's really it. Um, these random clothing items and wooden pieces of toys are going straight in the trash. Um, everything else is gonna go in a pile, uh, either for the church people to donate to the church, less fortunate for garage sale. So yeah, that's as far as we're going today. It's very, very cold here. It's a ceiling, what the heck? All right, on that note, um, it is very cold here. Um, I hope you're having a good day wherever you are in the world. Um, looking forward to next week where it's going to be a little bit warmer. Hoping we can get some garage sales going. And um, that's it. Everyone in Dallas, Texas wishes you a wonderful Thursday and a happy weekend. Eat yourself a cheeseburger. Um, play some video games. Relax. Some time with your family. If not, well, cry yourself to sleep. Thanks to my Xbox lawyers for watching this video. And everyone else. And I'm Dash. And I'll see you next time.